Welcome to the daily insights that matter. Now India this year is expected to get below average monsoon rains in 2023 as El Nino is predicted to be a major factor according to weather forecasting agency SkyMet. It is expected monsoon rains to be at 94% levels of the long period average with a 60% chance of a drought. Let's discuss the impact of this on our investments. El Nino or El Nino Southern Oscillation is characterized by a warming of the sea surface temperature in the equatorial Pacific Ocean. Now it occurs every two to seven years and it has the potential to disrupt weather patterns around the world including in India as well. Now this warming can have a significant impact on the global weather patterns including changes in precipitation, temperature and atmospheric circulation. Now the effects of El Nino can differ based on its severity with one of its consequences being a decrease in rainfall in India, particularly in the southern and the western areas. Now this can result in drought-like conditions that can have a significant impact on agriculture as many farmers depend on monsoon rains for cultivating their crops. Now the worst impact of the El Nino on India was seen in the year 2009-2010 when it led to a severe drought in the southern and the western regions as it significantly delayed the monsoons. Now the agriculture sector in India remains the backbone of the economy employing almost 58% of the total population. Punjab, Haryana, Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh known as the agricultural bowl of North India are likely to observe less than normal rains during the second half of the season and states like Gujarat, MP and Maharashtra may witness inadequate rains as per the predictions. Additionally, El Nino can also bring above average rainfall to some parts of India such as the nor northeastern belt which can lead to floods and landslides. Now, reduced rainfall can lead to water shortages, crop failures and economic losses for the farmers and the rural communities affecting the livelihoods of millions of people within the country. Now, in a major move towards sustainable transportation, India has hit a remarkable milestone by selling over 1 million electric vehicles in FY23. The government's incentives and the automaker's strong production have fueled this growth giving a massive push to a greener future. Sales in all segments of EVs including passenger vehicles, three-wheelers and two-wheelers more than doubled in FY23. Notably, electric scooters sales tripled in FY23 and accounted for the bulk of the industry's volumes. Now, although India's electric vehicle industry has made significant strides, it's still lagging behind the ambitious target set by the Niti Aayog to have 80% of two-wheelers and 30% of private cars running on electric power by 2030. Now, although the share of electric two-wheelers has grown to 4.6% of the overall two-wheeler market in India towards the end of FY23, it's still a long way to go. Nevertheless, the rise in the two-wheeler industry share from 2% in the previous year is impressive and shows that the shift towards sustainable transportation is gradually gaining momentum. Now, the sales performance of the EV industry comes at a time when the government of India has suspended the fame to subsidy of a few companies for not complying with the localization criteria. My colleague Rahil has discussed the details of the government's decision to hold back the fame to subsidy in our DITM video dated 8th March 2023 and I would strongly urge you to take a look at that as well. So what does all of this news mean for you? Now the decrease in monsoon rain can result in drought conditions which can have a severe impact on agriculture as many farmers rely on monsoon rains to grow their crops causing economic losses and affecting the livelihoods of many. This will therefore have an indirect negative impact on you. Now the surge in electric vehicle sales is a big leap forward in promoting eco-friendly transportation and a greener future. Now thanks to the government's incentives, this positive trend has gained even more momentum. This will therefore have an indirect positive impact on you. While I say this, this is Raj Mehta signing off, wishing you and your loved ones the very best. Thank you. Did you like watching this video? Then download our app, Informed Investor, to watch more such informative and interesting videos.